What's up everybody? It's 8-Bit and uh, I want to start off this video by saying thank you. Thank you so very much for uh, helping the channel to reach 100,000 uh, followers on Twitch. It's been a ridiculous journey so far and with with being able to hit 100K within two years, it's kind of unheard of. And I uh, just really, guys, thank you so very much for supporting the channel, for uh, for hanging out with me every single time that I stream, and uh, I really appreciate it. And as you guys can see, I'm actually not in my normal spot. I'm actually inside of the uh, the place where I stream from. Uh, happens to be my dad's gym. I wanted to make this video kind of special because of the fact that uh, at 90k I said that I would be doing a uh, a video showing all my equipment um, and where I stream at and everything like that uh, So yeah, just wanted to go ahead and do the video here instead of being in my normal backdrop I think it's a good change for uh, for 100k. So um, one thing really quick before we get started with the tour is um, So there are a lot of new things that are happening with the channel right now um, as we hit 100k, we, al we, ew, we also hit 1,000 subs, and that'll, that has allowed the channel to reach the, uh, the awesome milestone of 25 new emotes, and uh, we're on our way to new ones every single day as well. We're already on our way to another emote slot, so uh, if you guys have any ideas, please put them down in the, uh, the comments below because I would love to hear what you guys want for the channel because we are running out of ideas. I think we have a lot of new ones that are really, really good, but I don't know any more. Uh, we have a couple ideas like a BRB and uh, possibly a dancing emote if we can make that happen. So if you guys have any, uh, any other thoughts about it, please put them in the comments below because I would love to hear what emote ideas you have for the channel. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for 100K and uh, let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So this tour has been a long time in the making. Uh, we were supposed to do one at 90,000, but I was not able to do it in the time that it uh, took us to go from 90 to 100. It's just been really, really busy on the channel. And uh, once again, I just want to say thank you because it's kind of ridiculous that we are at this milestone and we're still growing uh, every single stream. So this basically is the main view that you guys get through the, uh, through the camera, through the, uh, the webcam. And I want to show you what else there is whenever we are streaming. So the first uh, piece of equipment I'll, I'll talk about is the uh, the webcam. Use a Logitech C920 webcam. As you can see, the spider webs are a nice touch. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, C920 webcam, I really, really recommend this camera. Um, if you want one that runs at 60 frames per second instead of 30 frames, you can go with a, a C922. Uh, I don't know the price of the C922, but this one goes for around 50 bucks. It's really good on sale, of course. Um, it's really good for uh, just a regular stream type camera. It's fantastic and I very much recommend it. Secondly, you can see this big behind light that is right here uh, and now it's going to completely ruin my uh, my coloring on the video. But yeah, it's just a regular studio light. Um, I bought it off Amazon for around 30 bucks and uh, it's been fantastic. It's kind of ridiculous looking into the sun while I'm drumming, of course, but yeah, it just uh, basically uh, it comes with a stand, comes with the light bulb. I have extra light bulbs down there in the uh, the bottom. I'll talk about those later uh, in the little box there. But yeah, uh, also a bunch of cords and everything. And uh, what's kind of funny about this is uh, those those ones in the wall there, they were actually drilled in for uh, the internet company that I don't use anymore to bring them in. I've had to had three different companies, one with the little thing on the wall there and the two holes there. I've had three different companies try and give me good internet access and none of them really give it to me. So yeah. Also, if you look here, oh my god, it's a double bass pedal, but it's broken. <laughs> that double bass pedal was actually uh, given to me by a friend of mine so I could test it out. And it broke on the first time that I tried using it and it just really didn't work out. So um, also I didn't really like the way that it feels. So if you guys know, it's kind of a meme in the chat that I only use a single pedal and everybody's saying, you should get a double pedal. I do have a double pedal. I do. Next piece of equipment that is sitting on my old chair that is broken. As you guys can remember, I uh, fell off of it almost in uh, one of these streams a little while back is this little muffin right here. This is a Verizon Jetpack. It is a 4G, um, what is it called? A, uh, a 4G hotspot, a mobile wireless hotspot. And that is how we stream now. Um, I am no longer wired in with the regular uh, 
like internet company, I'm kind of stuck using Verizon. Not to say stuck, because Verizon has actually kind of saved the stream a little bit, so I'm very thankful for their service, and uh, like they're fantastic. A little bit expensive, um, but it is worth it to keep the stream up and running, truthfully. Uh, I really, really like them a lot. The next little piece of equipment that I use is a Avid Fast Track Solo, I believe it's called, underneath all this, uh, you know, extra stuff. But, um, but yeah, it is a fantastic little, uh, I think it's called a... Uh, I don't know, like an audio input, like device, USB audio input, whatever the frick. I have no idea. Um, but as you can see, the uh, the drum set goes in through this cord right here. Or I'm sorry, uh, the microphone goes in through this cord right here. Uh, this one right here is for the drum kit itself, and this is the uh, the monitor that comes through uh, into my headphones. So everything that these two are putting out. Um, and everything that the computer is putting out over on the side there, which I actually forgot to set up, and I apologize for that. But basically, the computer sits right there. Uh, this plugs in straight into the computer, and uh, yeah, that's uh, just about it. Also, if you can see all the bags of trash, those are all Gatorade bottles from the past, like, I don't know, six months or so? Yeah. I drink a lot of freaking Gatorade, guys. A lot of Gatorade. So this right here is the main star of the stream, uh, other than Snow and myself, I guess. Um, oh, and the and the Gatorade. I have a lot of Gatorade down there. But yeah, this is the Roland TD20 uh, percussion sound module. It is a fantastic piece of equipment. Uh, basically, yeah, it's just this is basically how I've been able to uh, kind of make the stream happen. Uh, it has, uh, I believe it's like 50 different drum kits built in. You can also make more of your own. Uh, if you guys remember the day that the uh, the 808 took over, that's what I was using. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything, um, all of the different kits are available. Also, I, I gotta show you all this. So you see the little metal guy here? If I can make it focus, hold on. Let me see if I can get it. Tell me that doesn't look like family jewels. So yeah, as you guys can see, all of the different cords go into the different triggers, so uh, the cymbals and uh, the, uh, the snare and everything like that, all go into that one little brain there, and uh, it just works for some reason, I don't know why. But uh, that goes into the fast track, which goes into the uh, laptop, and yeah, that's how I get the sound. The, uh, the drum seat, as you can see, I kind of sit on it a lot, uh, is a Gibraltar drum throne. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I switched out from this little thing. Uh, where is it at? Uh, I switched out from that drum throne right there. Uh, it's just a regular like run of the mill. And ever since I did, it was so much better on my lower back. And uh, good God, <laughs> I will never go back. Also, I don't use the uh, the back of it like I did on the other one because of the fact that I really never use the back to begin with. Uh, but it's a really good addition if uh, you know if you lean back while playing a lot. But as you guys know, I kind of go just about everywhere, so yeah. Also, this right here is the DW9000. Uh, it is an absolutely fantastic piece of equipment. Best bass pedal I have ever used in my life. It's a single pedal, as you can tell. <laughs> and I, God, I cannot recommend this enough. I think I got it for around $300 uh, off of either Musician's Friend or Amazon and it is absolutely wonderful. It's super fluid, super smooth, and uh, just a really, really great kick. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that there. As you can see here, I have a bunch of extra drumsticks, a bunch of them that have broken already, a gigantic kazoo, and a box of random equipment. I have extra drum beaters, um, a big old extra light bulb for uh, that big thing over there, and uh, I also have an extra camera just in case uh, wh that, that's here from whenever we did the, uh, the double bass pedal day. I also have extra drums, so if I ever go, uh, go mad and freaking break one during a stream, I can switch it out so the stream can go on with no problem. I also have some extra cabling for, uh, for whenever I had the old laptop. Also, of course, way too much Gatorade, the blindfold, and uh, snow always hanging out behind me. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, there's the window, I guess, where the sun always bothers me. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, I have just a regular tower fan to keep me uh, kind of cool in this ridiculously hot area. But um, other than that, uh, oh yeah, I forgot, almost forgot. These are my headphones. Um, they are Sennheiser uh, 280 HD Pros. They are absolutely fantastic, and I recommend them so much. 
that I bought a second pair for uh, whenever Holmic or Jatia comes and hangs out with me, to so they don't hear the uh, the absolute maddening sound of me tapping on Tupperware the entire time. <laughs> so yeah. But overall, that is just about all the equipment that I use. Um, my drumsticks are, uh, they, well, I guess you can't see them, but they are Zildjian um, 7AN anti-vibe sticks. They're absolutely great for the, uh, the wrists. Um, I used to have a lot of pain whenever I used to play at the, the old church building because of the fact that I was playing with just regular sticks. And the, uh, the cores of these right here, uh, are they have little rubber cores on them, basically, at the bottom, and they take all of the shock from the hits. So every time that, you know, every time you hit, it would used to go into my wrist and that would really screw up my wrist and make me have a lot of pain and just, just it sucked. And that's actually why I started wearing the uh, the wrist brace, which is just a regular Ace wrist bandage. Like you can get those at Walmart for like five bucks. And um, that's why I started wearing them. I really don't need it that much anymore, but I keep wearing it just to prevent uh, damage. So yeah, one thing that I can say, is make sure that you stretch before you play and also just play with a good technique. Try to find a good technique that never causes pain and uh, you'll be able to play for as long as you really want to, truthfully. That's why I'm able to go for three hours now. Um, also, don't forget the sunglasses and the kazoo. I showed those earlier, but kazoo is really the star of the show, isn't it? But, uh, but yeah, overall, um, this is the end of the studio tour, really. Uh, studio, ha, I don't have a studio. I have a corner in my dad's garage. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the tour video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, thank you all so much for helping the channel to hit 100,000 subscribers. We're going to keep on moving. We're going to keep on growing every single day, every single stream. I'm just so glad that I get to do it for a living. It is an amazing experience getting to play for you guys uh, every chance that I get. And I'm just so freaking thankful that you guys are watching, rocking with me, supporting the channel, supporting the charities that we give to. I'm just, I'm so thankful guys. Thank you very, very much for, um, for rocking with me every single day that we can. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be doing this for a long, long time to come. Uh, we're gonna be hitting our two year anniversary on May 31st, uh, two years of streaming. And then two months after that, we're hitting the, uh, the two years of being partnered on Twitch, which is insane. So thank you guys very much once again for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful week and until the next stream or next video, uh, I hope y'all have just a fantastic day. Thank you very, very much for watching. God bless, take care, and I will see you again on the next stream.